No witty banter to open up this time, just gonna get right to it. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day 7 of Vita 2017. One week through. And I'm surprised at how much trouble I've been having keeping up with this. I mean, I work straight days, so you think I'd be on top of my recording, but... Apparently, the German League taking part at the same time has caused a fair bit of stir in other activities, especially with wanting to get to the Black Knight games to get some decent time for games in. So that's really good for my sleep schedule as well. And so I'm recording this one at 11.30 on Friday because I got home and I basically napped on and off until about an hour ago. I took that time to wake up, run an errand, uh, come back, eat, and try and figure out what I was going to talk about. And I said it fairly easily tonight on what I'd like to discuss. Uh, and that would be what brings me to gaming. I've talked plenty about my mental health focus, and as I mentioned, I want to bridge mental health and gaming together as they are two things important to me and two things I know do kind of go hand in hand. So, that makes sense. Uh, most of my gaming started in the electronic end. Uh, I grew up with my parents having an Atari 2600. Uh, Shortly after I started school, we got an NES, and things have just kind of progressed from there. So he's obviously heavy into the electronic game, because that's what we was convenient at the time. Uh, I remember upon really seeing board games out there beyond the typical roll and move and hope for the higher number, like Snakes and Ladders, uh, I started to get interested. I mean, I remember Monopoly seemed like a cool idea at the time, even though it was a case of your biggest decision was buy or don't buy, and obviously you're gonna buy, and beyond that it's just a case of trying to work with people, and dear lord, is Monopoly a horribly designed game? And it turns out that's entirely the point. Uh, it wasn't meant to be a case of trying to become a landlord, property baron kind of thing. Uh, the original designer's intent was to show the harmful effects of the capitalist society and rich getting richer, which capitalism can be fair, it just obviously is skewed very heavily to not be. But that's not the topic for tonight. I don't know if I want to touch on that topic at all. I got my uh, first real exposure into things that weren't just the typical mass market board games or any sort of game. I was about in grade 5 when some of the kids at school started playing Magic the Gathering, which is a game I play on and off now. I played a little bit back then, uh, mostly through my buddy Nathan's cards. Didn't play very often because I wasn't keeping up with the game and didn't fully understand all the mechanics that were being implemented, and playing unfamiliar decks means you don't know what you want to be waiting for, what your strategy is, things like that. So. I didn't really get into magic to any extent on my own until about uh, 2009, so eight years ago. Almost eight years ago precisely, I think. After discovering magic, uh, my next discovery was exactly what Dungeons & Dragons was. I just wondered what it was beyond just its title. I mean, Dungeons & Dragons doesn't tell you much, obviously. Though, to be fair, a lot of game names don't tell you much about what they are. I mean, Monopoly could be about anything. Names don't necessarily give a whole much. I mean, right behind me there you see Forbidden Stars. It, dumb reach. Doing this pulp backwards thing is weird. And uh, really that game is the StarCraft 4 game re-themed to use the Warhammer 40k license. I finally got into looking into what D&D was. I mean, I didn't have regular access to the internet upon hearing what it was. I mean, the internet was pretty much as you can see back then, so no real surprise. But we didn't have access to the internet at home until I was nearly finished high school. So it took a while to really get the regular resources that a lot of people took for granted. And uh, at my school, they had this very stringent internet use policy where I couldn't just research whatever topic I felt like, and accessing the library was difficult in that I lived a 40 minute walk from the closest bus stop, because we were out in the rural end of Stony Creek. 
I think only knows where Starlight Driving is. We used to live two and a half seconds to that. We got into that pretty heavily. I actually became a member of the RPGA for a while there, back during the uh, 3.5 days. We kept up in the floor, but that's kind of where D&D dropped off for me, just because afterwards I discovered other games that I felt did things better. I mean, D&D requires a lot of suspension of disbelief, but I don't just mean in the acceptance of these various fantastical things that exist and you can cast magic. I mean, you can be somebody who has 200 hit points, and you're swinging your sword just as well at 2 as you are at full health. I just think too much on things, and they distract me. It's my own fault, really. I won't tell anyone not to play d and I will give anyone a hard time about things like playing d and But if you're enjoying it, have at it. Except Monopoly. Don't, don't let people play Monopoly. Call it out for the terrible thing it is. Later on, I wound up uh, dating a girl in 2003 who was pretty heavy into the con scene, and her sister's friend it used to be one of the Games Workshop Outriders, and at Torcon 3, he introduced her and I to Warhammer 40k. And I was blown away. These models were fantastic, the rules were pretty cool, it was pretty involved in the fact that you could make your armor rules, you might have uh, army abilities that allow you to respond to certain things. It's become a little more dynamic now, but it's another game that I've given up because of various issues. Um, most notably, Games Workshop does not work whatsoever on game balance. They use the excuse that they're a model company that happens to produce a game. And all they were producing was the Lord of the Rings license content they used to do, and their Warhammer Fantasy line, which is now Age of Sigmar. I could buy that, because they were generic enough for, obviously, if you were heavily into the Tolkien thing, that was big there, to using a TV campaign or some other high fantasy stuff. But when you're looking at their 40k models, they're really specific to its own universe. Where else are you supposed to use those? At that point, you're not a model company that happens to produce a game. You're a model company justifying the reason for owning these models and not taking the game seriously. And it bothers me that you would need to play a certain army using a certain list to have a stance, uh, to have a chance at defeating your opponent. Both War Machine and Infinity have their problems, but none of them is so much a case of you're playing X army, so you're gonna lose the majority of your games. After uh, high school, just mostly got back into the video game thing, discovered designer board games through some of the guys that I met through working towards Pones, for anyone who remembers Pones Gaming Center. I got better work and started expanding my collection, and this is kind of where I am now. And the reason I stick with gaming so much is just, it's rewarding in so many ways. With video games, it was a case of experiencing stories, fantastical worlds, cool characters. You look at something like Mass Effect or some of the Final Fantasy games out there, and you've got characters you can relate to, you've got situations you want to see where they go. You've got amazing worlds that it's cool to find out details about. You look at something like uh, Super Mario Brothers or Crash Bandicoot and you've got cool design characters, fun gameplay, just a great experience. You look at the tabletop scene with the miniatures games or role-playing games and you've got creativity for outlets and just imaginative experiences. So that's all I've got to talk about tonight. Uh, let's see how this winds up being edited. This will probably get posted just after midnight, like at time now. It is 19.2. So, I will technically talk to you later today, I guess, if this gets up after midnight. If not before, I'll talk to you tomorrow.